Over the years, I've tested out my fair share of 3D scanners from all kinds of manufacturers, and I don't really like any of them for the simple reason that they all have a USB cable connected to them, and it's just a bad user experience. But this scanner has no cables connected to it, and that's good possibly even great. My name is Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. The Alfred Backpack Hanger. It's sturdy, reliable, versatile, and holds all your stuff. Available in stainless steel and aluminum. Get yours today. The new design and making store now has lure lock squeeze bottles, pilot gel pens, rulers, and other supplies for all your model making needs. Plus, our new custom design and making eco grip blade handles in aluminum, copper, stainless steel, and brass. This video's sponsor is Jigga. It's one of my new manufacturing partners. I create the CAD, I upload it, I specify the material that I want, I pick the vetted supplier that I like, kick off the project and pay, communicate with them if they have any questions, wait for the part to show up, and boom, you get something like this. Check them out for your next project, jigga.io. Oh, I love saying jigga. Let's unbox this thing. This is how the box came. Now, this is a pre-production unit. This is not the final one. I mean, it may be the same hardware. Certainly the software that we're using is um, beta and not even all the features work on this. That's the tripod that came with it along with the turntable. And then this is how the unit comes packed, uh, at least for us. I assume that uh, for production, you're going to have some different uh, packaging comes in this nice little case which is always nice that's a cable USB-C with a USB-C charger that makes me happy and that's the unit pleased with the industrial design of the exterior of this thing actually it's it's nice it's all aluminum machined um, feels good it's solid um, couple things I don't like I don't like the fan on the bottom so you can't place it down but this is what the interface looks like pretty straightforward and simple push the button for new scan and it instantly launches you into scanning now you can adjust some things here you can choose um, switch to large picture which is actually a little deceiving but it's for larger items and smaller items that needs a little bit of an adjustment and you can adjust the brightness with the um, rotating wheel on the side of the unit and that's really nice so this is a super quick scan of the desktop uh, random items on a desktop and it process everything right in the machine and you can see just from this little um, scan you can see that point cloud and in the machine it does the processing as well into a mesh which is nice it takes a little while you can hear the fan running uh, it's a little annoying but it gets the job done and that's pretty nice for just a super quick uh, you know two second scan basically so we're gonna scan my rock rooster shoe as we often do when we test out a new scanner. And we're gonna try to do this in one take. So Wyatt's gonna walk around the shoe with the scanner. And you can see the lights that are flashing on it. Um, he can see, of course, on the screen what it is that he's scanning, which is beautiful. There's no cable connected to it. And it scans in a couple of different ways. Uh, to get the scan of the 3D object. So really nice if you're not tethered to anything, allows you to full freedom, which is 
a great user experience, um, much better than having to deal with a cable. And if you have a laptop, um, moving all of that gear at the same time, it just doesn't make any sense. And this is just so much better and so much easier. And the unit is small, fits in your pocket. You could fit that in a coat pocket. It's a kind of a jumbo phone size. So he's got that scan done on that. And now he's going to turn it on its side. And he is literally going to keep scanning. He's got to match up the data from before. You see it turns green there. And he's able to continue scanning as he does the bottom. And I don't think I've seen a scanner that we've had before been able to do this to stitch everything together in one pass. Um, that again is super nice and the handheld ability of the scanner of course makes that possible so this is what he gets for the raw scan he's going to kind of rotate it and you'll see on the left there the little scissors now he's just going to use his finger to basically select what he doesn't want hit delete and it removes that so back to adjusting the scan Again, pretty easy to do this with your finger. Delete. Again, move it around and delete what it is that you don't want. You could clean up some of that other stuff there or whatever. We're not going to do that. And you can select low quality, medium or high quality there. And so that's important. Obviously, the higher the quality is going to take longer to process. Um, and the fan's always on and look at that. That is a, that looks, that's looking like a nice scan there and all in one unit is pretty quick, really nice. Uh, and I just think the ease of use is, is just, uh, unbeatable at this point. Yes. I realize there is another scanner out there from another company. That's an all in one unit. And I've seen that unit and I've seen demos with that unit or whatever. I think this one's a little bit quicker and a little bit easier to use. So what we're doing here is we're exporting the data. And I there's a cable that was connected to the unit there, but it is a wireless connection via Wi-Fi. The cable was there because in uh, the software that we have on the unit doesn't show battery life yet. Again, this is a demo unit, not doesn't have full functionality in the software. So as long as your computer and your device is on the same Wi-Fi network and you type in the IP address, it shoots that over. Now I've pulled this into Fusion. This is an OBJ and this is a pretty nice scan of the shoe. Uh, very pleased with this. The detail is, is quite good and uh, for how easy it was compared to what we've scanned in the past with scanners that have cables and things like that. This is a pretty straightforward, easy process. Being a little tougher. I happen to need to know what the threads are on this baby bottle here. This is a Philips uh, baby bottle uh, at event and um, I'm doing a project that involves the threads of this bottle. And so I need to essentially reverse engineer the threads on this uh, glass container. And so we're spraying a little bit of primer on here just to make it matte and get a surface that's not shiny that we can scan really well so that we can capture this data and it's just ends up being reference data for us so that we can get a good scan and then mesh that in uh, fusion to figure out what the thread pitch is so let's scan this container here and you can see we've got it set up on a chair and we have four markers around the container and these markers help with the alignment and allow the uh, scanner to align correctly and capture smooth things 
and you would think that the markers would be in the way but it just scans around those and we just eliminate those uh, eventually but they just become reference points and this is really the best way to do this because this is actually a pretty hard part to do a smooth round object this is one of the hardest things to scan uh, there is and so this is a perfect use case for this and you can see how easy it is for Wyatt to go around that chair twice this is what he gets right in the scanner he's of course removed the markers already and this is what we get from the scanner processed in the scanner all in the unit pretty nice it's it's impressive this is the obj file pulled into fusion 360 again these uh, threads are reference these are for me uh, for a project we are doing a wide mouth uh, baby product and we need to adapt to this system. This system is actually relatively universal on many uh, baby products today. So this is a perfect use case and scenario for scanning something for us as industrial designers. Here's my thoughts about this. I first saw this unit in April at the Rapid Show here in Detroit. And I viewed a lot of different scanner manufacturers at that show, and many of them offered me scanners. And I turned them all down because I don't want a scanner with a cable. And this is why. These things are going to take over the market. They're only going to get smaller, faster, lighter, easier to use with time. You're not connected to a computer with a cable. You can fit this in your pocket pull it out, scan whatever object you want, and go on your way. Is this the greatest scanner ever? I don't know, probably not. They're only going to get better. But this is certainly the best scanner that I have ever used in the sense that it's so easy to use, so convenient, and so simple. So I love it. It's going to come out soon. There'll be a link in the description below where you can order one from 3D Maker Pro. There'll be a coupon code to get a discount, all that good stuff. Um, I really like this scanner. Really kind of a game changer, not being tethered to anything. Definitely recommend it. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Make sure to hit the bell so you get notifications every time I have a new video. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Bots and Design. I'm now on Blue Sky and unfortunately still on Instagram. Rock on. Don't forget to check out the t-shirts and hoodies in the merch shelf below. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.